All right, we're recording again after 20 minutes of me trying to get my <clears throat> video camera to work. I turned my phone off like I told you I would. And apparently when I turned it back on, it just, something didn't load up right, and I had to restart it, and it took me about 15 minutes to figure out I need to restart it. So, but I've got some wood here, got some more wood there. was able to go over to site number, uh, let's see, number two, which is right there. And uh, gather some decent wood. Uh, number three had nothing, and number five had nothing. Number four had a ton of this stuff right here, all cut up real nice. I don't know where they got it from or how they cut it up so nice up here, but they did. Got a bunch of little stuff here, but I think between that and that, be enough for tonight for what I need. I'm not cooking anything, so just enough to keep the boogeyman away for a little while. Um, this is an emergency blanket that I'm using for a, uh, a ground ground tarp, a ground cloth, and uh, it's not the disposable kind. It's actually a tarp on one side, uh, emergency radiator type, radiation type uh, blanket on the other side. And by radiation, I don't mean like radiation. I mean that it radiates heat back. But, Got a little area cleaned off. You can see it's even got little grommet holes in it. These things are awesome if you want to get one for about 15 bucks, 20 bucks, depending on where you're getting at. But they are super durable and uh, super lightweight and uh, very useful. There's that. Um, had to go wash myself off in the in the creek down there. Let's turn this down a little bit. That's what I meant to do, turn it down. I don't think you can even see it with the light, but that is an Eton emergency radio. Uh, solar powered thing is like a tank, man. Um, the weight is actually kind of crazy for the size of it. But, um, it's got a flashlight on the front, which is actually a pretty bright flashlight. Um, it's got a USB outlet here where you can charge your phone, charge different things with it. Two different, I'm um, oh, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different weather band radios and AM and FM. I love that thing for what I paid for it, especially. Uh, some wet clothes and stuff here where I had to wash myself off in the creek and uh, letting it dry out good. Seen a few people pass, but I don't know if they're hiking on around or going to come back through. I'm not sure. But just getting ready to set up my tent. And I'm not going to turn off my phone this time. I'm just going to turn off the camera. And uh, the way I don't have to worry about what I had last time. This is my stuff that I got here. Um, this is actually a compression bag for the uh, for the tent. It's really for a sleeping bag, but uh, I don't have one. I couldn't find one that I really wanted like this that compresses from top to bottom, not side to side. So I kind of had to roll it up like a snake, and it worked good. Just didn't compress the way I wanted it to. But kind of the opposite way. Compress long ways instead of short ways. But there you go. I got people coming, so talk to you in a little bit.